Ahead on Night Beat, Hogan will have an update on the severe weather in the area and an update on last weekend's explosion in BB. Night Beat starts now. Now live from your good neighbor station, this is K8 News Night Beat. A trying time for a Greene County mother today. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Tyler Hawks. Doug Doggett is under the weather. A mother went to court looking for answers today, but walked away still wondering what will happen to her son. We've been following the story of Rosie Havner and her 11-year-old son, Jesse. Jesse is mentally ill and has been at Mill Creek of Arkansas for the past three years. Now Mill Creek wants to discharge him. Today, a judge said he could not force Mill Creek, which is a private institution, to keep Jesse. Havner says it'll come down to turning Jesse over to the state, something she's not willing to do. Representatives from Mill Creek could not comment on Jesse's case. The judge set another court date for May 26, should Rosie be unable to find another place for Jesse to live. Residents and law officers in the rural Arkansas community of Prairie Grove are puzzled today about what prompted a 12-year-old boy to head toward his school carrying a shotgun. A day after the boy was seriously wounded in a gun battle with a police officer, all police could point to was a minor incident at school a couple of days earlier. And a hunch there had to be something more. Police would not name the boy who was shot in the abdomen because he is a juvenile, but a family member identified him today as Michael Nichols. He was listed in guarded but stable condition at Washington Regional Medical Center at Fayetteville. Sergeant Greg Lovett was shot in the face chest, back, and buttocks, but was back home today after being treated at the same hospital as Michael. Authorities believe there is more to the motive than whatever occurred at school. Police say an explosion at a duplex in BB that seriously injured a man was the work of an arsonist. The injured man, 30-year-old Kelly Don Yingling, is still at Arkansas Children's Hospital. The explosion occurred shortly before midnight last Saturday. BB police say the structure was destroyed and that debris scattered for more than 100 yards. No one has been charged. Investigators are still trying to find out the precise cause of the blast. Two Jonesboro men were arrested on drug paraphernalia charges with intent to manufacture. Officers were delivering a misdemeanor arrest warrant when they saw components of a meth lab in the area around the suspect's house on 4th Street in Jonesboro. Needles and manufacturing equipment were in a ditch in plain view. That was enough to get a search warrant and then charge the two men. A probable cause hearing is set for Monday. A member of the 2nd Judicial Drug Task Force has pleaded guilty to stealing drugs that were being held as evidence. Charges of delivery of a controlled substance and conspiracy to deliver a controlled substance after Jerry Brawley agreed to plead guilty to theft. Brawley is a former deputy in the Mississippi County Sheriff's Office. He received a five-year suspended sentence and a $100 fine. Prosecutor Brent Davis said that because of Brawley's law enforcement background, sending him to prison would create safety concerns. An overpass over one of Jonesboro's busiest railroad crossings is one step closer to having an overpass. Arkansas State University has been given the green light to start making plans to build an overpass over Caraway Road. The university has $950,000 that will be used for engineers to draw up plans. The engineers will be looking at ways to move the tracks closer together without changing the train's routes. They'll also look at drainage issues and relocating utilities. The project will cost around $13 million. It's expected to take three years to build. Four state legislators are asking that our Kansans keep in mind that the state's tobacco settlement money can be placed in a trust fund. The idea was proposed by Republican Representative Jim Hendren to a special legislative session last month that failed to produce a plan for spending the settlement. $1.6 billion is to be paid to the state in over 25 years. Governor Huckabee is leading a drive to place on the ballot a spending plan backed by health care related organizations. Backers have until July 7th to gather signatures of more than 56,000 registered voters to get the proposal on the November ballot. Hendren says he has no plans to fight the ballot proposition, but wants voters to know the trust fund remains an alternative if the other plan is turned away. Bills aimed at handling and spending Missouri's share of the national tobacco settlement never reached a final vote as the session ended today. 
One measure would have created a tobacco trust fund to hold the money until voters get a chance to decide how it should be spent. But the spending package in the trust fund bill fell victim to anti-abortion lawmakers. They wanted to make sure no settlement money is used for abortion or abortion services. Senators ended the measure's last chance. A bill to crack down on underage smokers passed, but not before the Senate rejected an amendment creating the tobacco trust fund. Incidentally, the underage smoker bill also died, awaiting action in the House. The Missouri lawmakers ended their session this evening without action on a bill to toughen the state's drunk driving laws. The measure was passed in the House last night, but it died in the Senate today for lack of action. The bill would have dropped the legal blood alcohol limit from one-tenth of one percent to eight hundredths of one percent. When night be returns for our good neighbors in Tip, Armstrong, and Athelstan. Arkansas State University graduates said goodbye to classes and hello to the real world tonight. And after eight years of emotional ups and downs, this woman is finally on a steady path. Well, it was a very windy and warm day across Region 8. We want to take a look at the Almanac page, and I'll tell you about the highs and lows around the area and also some of the severe weather approaching Region 8. The St. Louis Cardinals back at home tonight as they take on the L.A. Dodgers for the first time this season. Scotty Adams will join us later in sports. KA News Nightbeat is brought to you by Kavanaugh Hyundai, Hank's Discount Fine Furniture, and by Jack's TV and Appliance. King of the Northeast Arkansas car dealers. We're putting a squeeze play on the new top-of-the-line Hyundai Sonata 2000. Drive one home today for as low as $2.79 a month. You'll have all your bases covered with winning financing from 3.9 financing for 60 months down to 0.9 for 48. And hey, that's with no money down. We'll even throw in the sales tax. It comes complete with a 100,000-mile 10-year warranty. That's the Hyundai Advantage. Come take a test drive. I think you'll agree. You'll like what you see. Kevin Hyundai, G Street in Jonesboro. Folks, let me show you two outstanding special purchase items. The Natutsi 92-inch Palomina sofa, covered in the finest butter-soft top grain leather, designed to sell for $1,600 while they last $9.98. The Bayview queen bedroom wall, lots of storage, constructed of solid American oak, an $8.99 value while they last $5.99. Hank's Discount Fine Furniture, the Mid-South's largest Thanks to you. Just relax and kick up your feet. Your home theater is now ready. Go to Jack's TV and Appliances. For the conveniences in life, go to Jack's TV and Appliances. Around here, things move just a little slower. And that's fine with us, because we just don't rush the down-home goodness of Yarnell's ice cream. Well, there was that one time we got in a hurry, when the Yarnell's truck brought us blackberry cobbler ice cream. Just like fresh blackberry cobbler, plump, juicy blackberries, crumbly, crispy bits of crust. Well, it's back in the stores, and we're going to get some. <laughs> Maybe you'd better hurry and get some, too. What do you get when you put almost a thousand students, their families, and a guest speaker all in one room? That's right, ASU graduation. Kelly Scott shows you what these graduates have planned for the future. They slipped into their gowns and pinned their hats on straight. Not the most flattering outfit in the world, but these Arkansas State University graduates wear them with honor. The whole graduation. Wonderful, family. wonderful. I love the color. It makes me look slim. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Why not? It's too formal. But I guess it's a formal occasion, so. <laughs> Entire families, some large and some small, crowded into the ASU Convocation Center with all the pride in the world. Right? I'm a father. Yeah, and I'm proud of the Beacock. 
today. Well, I'm really excited and I'm proud of her and happy for her. She's always been a wonderful student, a wonderful daughter, and I'm just really excited. One thing that made this graduation ceremony so unique is the guest speaker. Highly acclaimed author John Grisham captivated the audience. But more importantly, he had invaluable advice for these future professionals. As they walk gracefully across the stage, one big question still remains. What does the future behold? Um, I'm an elementary ed major and I'm hoping to teach around Osceola um, or Miss South Mississippi County Schools. Uh, no, exactly, not exactly. I had a couple offers, a couple interviews. And so it's looking pretty good so far. I had to narrow down to the choices that I wanted to do. Yeah, it's really scary. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's just, you know. So some may not know exactly what they're going to do at this point. All they do know is tonight is a time to be proud of a job well done. In Jonesboro, Kelly Scott, K8 News. This is the largest commencement ceremony to take place in the Convocation Center since it was built in 1987. And now a look at uh, the storms that have been coming in through the area. Are they damaging? Eh? We go to Hogan Gidley for a look at the weather. You know, Tyler, the only way that uh, thing over there at ASU, the graduation would have been bigger, was if you were the speaker. So, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but anyway, we have had some, uh, a line of severe thunderstorms moving through the area all night long, and of course, we're tracking those. They're moving closer and closer to Region 8, but most of the severe weather is not going to hit our area, and of course, I'll tell you where all those storms are going to be coming up after the break. We saw a high today of 83 degrees, and it wasn't too far off from that low last night, a very mild night, and of course, a very windy day. No rainfall in uh, the county yet, but rains are coming. I'll tell you all about it. Weather is next. I went uh, to some competitors, but uh, after talking with, with uh, Great Outdoors RV, we went ahead and purchased here. Great Outdoors RV has the best selection. They didn't have four or five camping trailers. They've got, I don't know how many. Price is always a big deal with anything. Great Outdoors gave me a better deal than anyone else would. Really like their, their honesty and professionalism. Great Outdoors RV will make you a deal. They've been good people to deal with. The next time you're looking for something special, make sure to visit the Wholesale House. Here's why. This silver pitcher would make a great gift, only $25. You'll find astonishing prices on jewelry and semi-precious stones. Decorate your home for only $34 with this beautiful oriental vase. Compare the prices on these collectibles. Yes galore, home decor, and so much more. Visit the Wholesale House today. A New Horizon and Vision Correction is now being experienced through a new exciting procedure called LASIK. To nearly 60 million men and women in the United States who are nearsighted, farsighted, or have astigmatism, the Eximer laser represents the most dynamic vision correcting technique since the invention of contact lenses. For a brochure or to schedule a free personal consultation, call Southern Eye Associates at 870-935-6396 now. Wood Ford Sales and Truman outfits you for adventure with their complete lineup of Ford's top-selling sports utility vehicles and trucks. Whether your adventure means hunting, fishing, four-wheeling in the woods, or just hauling the kids across town, Wood Ford is your Ford outfitter with the best deals. We pay our sales staff for each sale they make, not for how much you pay, so their only concern is making your buying experience a pleasant one, before, during, and after the sale. At Wood Ford, Region 8's longest-running Ford dealer, you'll get a great deal, and you won't have to fight us for it. now k8 weather welcome back to k8 news night beat uh, before we get started in the weather i want to make sure everybody stays tuned for the end of the show we'll be giving away that uh, free gas for everybody so pay attention we have that license plate number ready to hand out also uh take a look from regions bank weather cam really nice shot of jonesboro of course some red lights out there don't like to be stuck at those but the good news about this camera shot is you don't see that big black line going back and forth which is our 
windshield wiper, which means no rain in the area just yet. Some areas of rain around the region, though, are seeing uh, some showers. Let's go ahead and check it out. You can take a look at Doppler radar. See right around Paragould, kind of a stronger cell right through there. And again, most of the storms we're seeing really uh, are strong, not really severe just yet. What we're expecting to see, possibly some high winds in this area, some hail even possible. But, it's, uh, but again, really lightning is something you want to watch out for. And of course, flash flooding, uh, some water's moving across the road. Watch out for that. But again, lots of shower activities off to our west near M. Bowden and places like that. And of course, off to our south as well. But Jonesboro really hasn't seen much in the way of rain. If we've even seen a drop, I really don't think we have yet tonight. But uh, this is all part of a storm system we've been tracking all night. Right now at our studios, we are at 79 degrees humidity. Same number, just slap a percentage on it. The barometer is 29.76 and rising. And, of course, if it was falling, that means we could see some rain. So right now it looks like we're in good shape. Southwestern winds at 11 miles an hour. Elsewhere around the region, we see a 77 at Jonesboro, 79 Batesville, 77 at Walnut Ridge. Back behind this frontal system, it sure is a lot cooler. 61 at Springfield, 64 at Mountain Home. The winds are coming out of the southwest. That's helping boosting the moisture in the air, of course, bringing in some more humidity and also starting to make things right for rain. However, again, behind the frontal system, starting to see northern winds. That's going to help dry things off quite a bit. Here's a look at your satellite picture. You see those storms that developed through western Texas and actually started to move into Arkansas. Nothing really going on uh, for quite some time. And then all of a sudden in the afternoon, of course, the moisture and everything kicked in, and we saw the chance for some showers. That's where we are right now. The frontal system is trying to push through, and that is what's setting off the rainfall around that frontal system. Again, it is a well-defined line up through Texas, Arkansas, and, of course, into the Michigan area, and they're seeing lots of shower activity there. Most of the severe storms in Arkansas, though, are in the southwestern part of the state. Uh, some tornado warnings have been issued there. We haven't seen anything like that, just a few thunderstorm warnings out there. And again, this system is a long stretching when it's done lo dumped lots of rain through Texas. Fort Worth, Dallas saw some rain showers, and also, of course, up in the northeast around the uh, Great Lakes area. But that's where we are right now. This frontal system trying to come through, bring in some northern winds. That's helping to make things right for rain tonight. We could see some showers passing through, but by tomorrow, high pressure and control, north winds, a really nice night is ahead. Everybody worried about Mother's Day weekend? Don't be. It's going to be absolutely beautiful, clearing out, partly sunny skies, high pressure and control. It's going to be a lot cooler as well as things uh, really start to take form as the northern winds start to kick in. Until then, nighttime lows will be in the 60s, 50s behind that. It's going to be a little bit cooler, remember, after the frontal system passes through. We'll see some lingering cloud cover, and highs tomorrow will be in the 70s as we start to clear out very nicely tomorrow. A really nice day is ahead. Tonight, cloudy and very warm. A chance of a thunder shower or two, maybe even a strong thunderstorm storm in there. 64 will be your overnight low. Tomorrow, expect some rain early, but northwestern winds kick in, help dry things out, a high of 74 degrees. Here's a look at your five-day forecast, and of course, that weekend for those moms out there, a really nice weekend on Sunday, 75 degrees. Get outside and enjoy things with mother on Mother's Day. By Monday, the start of the work week looks really nice as well. Sunshiny skies, 80 degrees, and by the I guess the middle of next week, highs will be in the mid-80s. There you go, Sunday afternoon, a little picnic with mom. You can't beat that at all. Now, It'd be man. nice. Now, what you got to do is you got to get her something. You got to remember. For what? For Mother's Day. Is that what we're talking about? Mother's Day. What? Yes. Mothers have a day? We'll talk about please, it uh, Please. My mother would drive over here and spank me if I didn't get her something for Mother's Day. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, so good. It's estimated two and a half million people in the U.S. suffer from bipolar disorder. It's a mood disorder in which people have periods of depression that alternate with periods of mood elevations. Doctors often treat bipolar disorder with two drugs to tackle the highs and lows. But that can cause extreme side effects. Tonight, Diana Davis reports on one drug that could help these patients. I pretty much led a roller coaster of life. Kara Richards is an interior designer, a job that takes focus and creativity. But her job and everyday activities are often interrupted because she has bipolar disorder, also called manic there depression. Were times when it was an effort to go and get the mail. I mean, I just wouldn't even get the mail because I was afraid to go out of the house. Kara tried two common drugs to treat her highs and lows. But the side effects were too much. Her husband, Dave, remembers. We would get up in the morning and we like to have coffee, watch the sunrise, and she would just shake so bad that she couldn't even hold the coffee. People with bipolar dis disorder really struggle. In a recent study, psychiatrist Joseph Calabrese found Lamictal, a drug approved to treat epilepsy, works on bipolar disorder. It manages both the depression and the manic episodes without the side effects. Patients who were previously non-responsive to numerous antidepressant medicines responded nicely to this.
After eight years of ups and downs, Lamictal changed Kara's life. All of a sudden, my anxiety started to go away, and the paranoia started to disappear, and the tremors were gone. I knew that I loved her very much, so we'd be together to face this together, and she's doing fine. Dave's seen the worst, and now the best, of what his wife has been through. Diana Davis, K8 News, Night Beat. There are about half a dozen more studies currently underway on Lamictal, which is also known as Lamotrigine. The drug is FDA approved for epilepsy. Some physicians are prescribing it off-label for bipolar disorder. For more information, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Medical Breakthroughs, Beating Bipolar Disorder. K8 News, P.O. Box 790, Jonesboro, Arkansas, 72403. Or go to the K8 homepage at KIT8.com and click on Medical Breakthroughs. Still to come for our good neighbors in Attica, El Paso, and Saddle. Pope John Paul II is in Portugal tonight. We'll explain why. And politics, war, and generations of rivalry are casting their inevitable shadow over the Miss Universe 2000 pageant in Cyprus, the Mediterranean island which calls itself the land of love. The Rough Riders of NASCAR's Craftsman Truck Series are coming to Memphis Motorsports Park Saturday, May 13th. Order your tickets today. Mayday, Mayday, prices are falling at the American RV Mayday Sale. American RV North in Memphis, save on Jayco, Springdale, Hurricane and more, corner of North Thomas at Watkins. American RV South in Olive Branch, save on Coachman, Sportsman, Starcraft and more, Highway 78 at Craft Road. Who will be there? We will! You will save on fold downs for zero down in 99 a month at the May Day sale at American RV, both locations until May 20th. The selection is great, and everything must go. The Oak Gallery is going out of business, and nothing beats going out of business prices. And we do mean nothing. So don't let the best selection get away. Hurry to the Oak Gallery. Our loss is your game. Bring your trucks and trailers. If you plan to buy furniture this year, now is the time. First person gets best selection, so don't be left out. Get here now. The Oak Gallery, 1925 Stadium Boulevard in Jonesboro. Think all termite control companies are the same? Think twice. Some treat your problem only one way. But Orkin doesn't stop here. While others call it a day, Orkin goes one step further with targeted liquid as necessary, creating a second barrier for double protection. Targeted treatments to kill the termites you have now. Baits to help keep them from coming back later. Guaranteed. For double protection, call Orkin today. Russia is looking to sell its aircraft carrier to China, and over 50 people were injured in a warehouse explosion. These stories top tonight's World Wrap. More than 50 people were injured after an underground arms warehouse caught fire and exploded in the El Salvadoran capital, San Salvador. The area was evacuated after the blast as experts secured the surrounding buildings. Hundreds of people lost their homes when unexploded grenades catapulted into residential neighborhoods. The search for explosives will continue until the area has been safely secured. A Russian newspaper has reported that Russia is selling an aircraft carrier to China, a sale which could significantly increase the strength of the Chinese Navy. A Chinese tug is reported to be arriving to collect the carrier from the Russian port of Vidyayevo. But a Russian defense analyst says that the ship could well be next to useless as a launch pad for military strike power. It seems the ship may well end up like the last aircraft carrier sold from Russia to China, an attraction in a theme park. Pope John Paul II is in Portugal ahead of a beatification ceremony on Saturday. It was just a short stopover before the Pope continued his journey to Fatima, where he will hold Saturday's ceremony with thousands of devotees in attendance. He will beatify two shepherds who his children said they witnessed apparitions of the Virgin Mary. 
Taiwan's entrant in the Miss Universe competition has been renamed Miss Chinese Taipei following pressure from Beijing. China insisted Miss Taiwan's name be changed at the beauty contest, which is taking place in Cyprus. China and Taiwan split in 1949. Beijing wants the island to eventually reunify with the motherland. But Taiwan's government has refused to reunite with the mainland until it is democratic and more economically advanced. But the diplomatic scuffles won't prevent the Miss Universe contest from going ahead. For the time being, at least, the contestant from Taiwan says she's happy to take part under the controversial title. And that's tonight's World Wrap. And that is a look at World Wrap. Here we go. The heroes and highlights of today's sports is right here with Scotty Adams. And the heroes of today are actually females. Some of the state's top female soccer players have stormed into Jonesboro that's this right, weekend. That's right, but it's so nice to see you here tonight. I just must say, we're getting an early start on the weekend, right? We're getting ready to go. That's right. You're Let's right, Let's kick though. in early right some, now. Some big-time lady athletes yeah. are in Jonesboro tonight. Joe Matt Campbell Park, actually, for the girls' state American Cup. And... We'll have more reaction from the NASCAR scene on Adam Petty's tragic death. All this and more coming up next in the Sports Zone. Welcome to the Dixie Stampede. Experience the most fun dinner and show in Branson. Celebrate with our cast of 32 magnificent horses, trick riding, roping, ostrich races, plus the world famous racing pigs are back. Enjoy Dixie Stampede's fabulous four course feast with all the trimmings. Come visit my Dixie Stampede dinner and show tonight. It's the most fun place to eat in Branson. I guarantee it. Can a bank turn your backyard into a tropical paradise? It can if it's Regions Bank. With a Regions Home Equity Loan, you get a preferred rate, a quick local decision, and best of all, no closing costs, which in turn can help you build that pool you've always dreamed of. Now that's paradise. Reward yourself with a Regions Home Equity Loan, only from the strength of Regions Bank. Jared. He weighed 425 pounds. He invented a diet of his own. At the heart of his diet was Subway's turkey breast sub, a foot-long veggie, and lots of walking. Today, Jared weighs 190 pounds. We're not saying his diet is right for you. You should talk to your doctor first. But it is food for thought. Through May, buy any foot-long sub, and Subway restaurants will donate a portion of the proceeds to the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. The only thing that comes close to the thrill of driving a new Dodge is the fun of saving on one. Now do both during the Dodge Drive into Summer event, where this generous cash allowance immediately helps reduce your neon down payment or save on your interest payments thanks to low financing. The thrill of driving, the fun of saving, and your timing couldn't be better during the Dodge Drive into Summer event, going on now at your friendly Dodge dealer. And now, K-8 Sports with Scotty Adams. Well, soccer, a sport which has been around for some time now in Region 8, is making a bigger splash, especially on the women's side. In the recent months, the Arkansas State Athletic Program announced women's soccer will be a new addition to the program for the fall. And now, this weekend, Jonesboro welcomes the Girls Tide American Cup, the state tournament for girls statewide ranging from ages 8 to 14 years old, We'll get going bright and early tomorrow morning. And coaches and players are just excited about getting to kick it around at Joe Mack Campbell Park, Jonesboro's newest soccer complex. We are very excited. I mean, the Joe Mack Campbell Complex has been under construction now for a couple years, and we have worked hard. There's so many people that's volunteered their time to go out and just line fields, put up nets, paint goals, and the city has done a lot of work for us, and we're very excited about it. The new complex is off of Dan Avenue, right beside Wheeler Brick, right here in Jonesboro. Well, the sports world lost a very important person today, and one of NASCAR's future superstars, Adam Petty, the fourth-generation driver of NASCAR's first family, 
died after a crash during practice at the New Hampshire International Speedway. The 19-year-old was preparing for tomorrow's Bush 200. This was Petty's rookie season on the NASCAR circuit. He's the son of race car driver Kyle Petty and the grandson of legendary Richard Petty. Adam's great-grandfather was Lee Petty, one of the pioneers of NASCAR. You know, every time we get in a car, it's dangerous, but, uh, uh, you know, it's just, uh, when it hits that close to home, it, uh, it's tough, uh, especially, uh, you know, anybody with someone so young and full of energy is uh, it's tough. The, the whole garage area is numb. Uh, you know, they, they lived an exit down from me. Uh, Kyle Petty and Richard being, you know, the names of NASCAR. NASCAR really is all the Petties made NASCAR. And Take long for the Cardinals center fielder Jim Edmonds to fall in love with St. Louis. Edmonds, who was acquired in March from the Angels, agreed today to a six-year, $57 million contract extension. Wow. And why not? He leads the majors in batting, slugging, and on-base percentage. Tonight, Edmonds and the Redbirds taking their first look at the Dodgers. Daryl Kyle on the mound looking for his sixth straight win. But L.A. has other ideas. Sean Green clears the bases with a two-run, or actually a three-run double and it's 3-0 Dodgers. Last, later still in the first inning, Todd Huntlett gives Kyle's curveball a ride to straight away center. Cards give up five runs in the first inning alone, and get this, the Dodgers smoke St. Louis tonight 13-0. Arkansas State baseball in town this weekend. For the last time this season, Florida International beats up on the Tribes 6-3. Both teams will play a doubleheader to close out the regular season at 1 o'clock. Game three of the dead even series between the Heat and Knicks tonight at Madison Square Garden. If we can go to those highlights, please. Actually, the Heat pulled this one out tonight by a score. They win it by 1.77-76. The game went to overtime. The Los Angeles Lakers right now down by 10. 22 to 12 in the fourth quarter. ASU golfer Amanda Beeler shoots an 85. She's tied for 106 or 106 place tonight. Not very good. That's up in the NCAA or regional tournament. All right. Thanks a lot, Scotty. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. More news is next. It's the biggest big bass tournament anywhere. A hundred thousand dollar first place guaranteed. Arkansas Ford Dealers Big Bass Bonanza, June 23rd, 24th, on the Arkansas River, all the way from Fort Smith to Dumas. Five pools, five weigh-in sites, big first place pool prices, plus big hourly big bass prices. Get entry information at any participating Arkansas Ford Dealer or call 870-534-5464. Arkansas Ford Dealers Big Bass Bonanza. It's big. Hey man, can I borrow your phone? With free weekends and unlimited long distance from Southwestern Bell, wireless calls are free, no matter how much you or anyone else uses your phone. Thanks. Free weekends from Southwestern Bell. When you're free, we're free. The Weather Line, 24-hour weather information. Hey, Mom, looking for a cool way to beat the heat? Look at this. For just $3.95, the Pool Depot puts your family in this picture. That's right, only $3.95. Our Value Series pool comes complete with pump, filter, liner, ladder, and two wood decks, plus free installation on your ready site, all for just $3.95 or step up to the Elite model. High-tech features make this pool up to 90% chemical-free. And professional installation, lifetime coverage, and reduced pool care make it truly elite. Nothing brings a family together like a backyard paradise from the Pool Depot. Imagine you and the kids splashing, swimming, and playing in your very own pool. It's big, it's cool, and it's yours. Call now before these amazing offers disappear. Imagine a free automatic pool cleaner and no payments for 90 days on your elite pool. Call right now. Operators are standing by. Closed captioning of K8 News has been made available through grants from e Ritter Communications and Lucent Technologies and Kraft Foods Post Division.
Now, Hogan has a last look at weather, and these, the severe weather in the area. That's right. The National Weather Service in Memphis has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Crittenden County in eastern Arkansas and eastern Cross County in northeast Arkansas until 11.15 p.m. So they have a while for that, and of course, severe weather all around the area, and the chance for some of that to move through Jonesboro a little later on. Let's go ahead and take a look at your five-day forecast. A beautiful day by tomorrow afternoon with a high of only 74, and of course, 75 on Sunday. Mother's Day looks really nice to get out and a beautiful start to the work week as well. Sunshiny skies expected all the way through Wednesday. Well, we want to do our job to give away that gas tonight and tell you what's going on there. Today's winter, winner of 20 gallons of gas is the person driving a white Pontiac Grand Am with Arkansas license plate 931CC. If that's your plate, you have until 5 o'clock Monday afternoon to pick up your certificate or I get the gas for free. <laughs> well, all right. There you go. No, I'm kidding. I sure don't. I wish. <laughs> that's all the news for now. ABC's Nightline is joined now in progress. Be sure to join the weekend crew. That's me, us, tomorrow night at 6. K8 News Nightbeat is brought to you by Kavanaugh Hyundai, Hank's Discount Fine Furniture, and by Jack's TV and Appliance.